I don't know how well this is gonna record, but hello! I just made it all the way from terminal freaking seven to the last terminal of LAX. Um, I ran my heart out because I was like, oh my god, I gotta lay over, I gotta run, I got no time. I made it with an hour to spare, which is totally fine, you know? But here we are at LAX. Wow. You can definitely tell this is the International Airport, or Concourse. Oh, is that open? I don't need coffee, it's too late for that. It's almost midnight, I don't need coffee. But yes, I made it. Super out of breath. I really gotta find the bathroom. But we made it, you know? So, made it from Orlando to LA. <coughs> now here's a long leg of the trip. LA to Melbourne, Australia. Um, I did not mean to do the accent there, but I did anyway, so it's fine. Oh my god, wait. Restrooms. Okay, wait. I'll go in there in a sec. But, um, yeah. Now I gotta find which gate I'm going in. Catch my breath. Relax for an hour because that's how long I have. And yeah. Oh, good evening, lady with the weird voice. Alright, Melbourne. 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 Oh my god. Okay. That scared me. Because I just saw my flight. But that's not what I Alright, there's a guy in my way. Alright, boys. We are on time. Gate 146. Where the hell? Of course, it's the freaking end of this goodness. God damn it. Freaking terminal. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> I'll find a bathroom down there. There's another one. It's fine. But we made it once again to LAX. <sighs> Let me tell you, this airport's really big. Thought I was gonna cough up blood for a sec, but I didn't. That's fine. I'm so very exaggerating. But running with a hoodie is not fun. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but here we are, LAX. Now comes the longest leg of the trip, it's Melbourne, Australia. And there we go. We're gonna get on the plane. Um, oh, I forgot to mention one thing that I'm not sure that I'm getting is my luggage. Um, <laughs> so I booked the flight with United from Orlando to LA. Then from LA to Melbourne, it's from the airline Quant Quantas. I don't know if I'm saying that right. The two completely different airlines. They're not associated with each other whatsoever. The luggage got checked all the way through to Australia, which is what the lady told me. But they're two completely different flights, if you get what I'm saying. <coughs> so that is my whole issue of whether or not I will get to my luggage when I get to Australia. <gasps> Ooh. Hello, wait, stop, stop, stop. They're going to Sydney. But yes, that is my predicament right now. I don't know if I will get my luggage when I land at LA. But let's see, let's hope. Hoping for the best here. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So we're back. I had to check in, use the bathroom and all that good stuff. So I haven't had to take a bus to a flight in like 15 years. So this is gonna be interesting. So I'm getting on the bus right now. We'll see where it goes. So we made it up the airport. We're all the way up here. Now we're probably getting on the airport. So see you in Melbourne.
got run over. But we have made it to Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> oh, thank God. So the flight was about 15 hours. I'm just walking to customs right now, guys. The flight was about 15 hours. Um, it wasn't too bad. The guy in front of me decided, you know, hey, let me lounge my chair and like gave me no space. So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but yes, so now I'm going through customs. Well, I'm gonna go to customs. Um, so we got delayed. Deep, uh, deep, deep barking or deep planing. Getting off the plane. I don't know what the word was. Um, oh, this is a cute little store. Oh, wait, these are so cute. I'm sorry, guys, I got super distracted just now. Um, oh, they're so cute. Um, but yes, stop, this is so cute. Okay, we got um, held up the getting off the plane because a person, full US passport, um, a person, Told the stewards, like the flight attendants, that she wasn't feeling good, or he, they weren't feeling good, and um, you know, so quarantine actually kept us on the plane, and um, and we had to like get her checked and everything, but she's good, it's all good. So let's go through customs. I don't even know if I can record this part, so I'm gonna stop. All right, made it through that part of customs. Now they have to question me down there, but so far so good. Everything's good. Um, but yes, we got held up for quarantine. They checked her, him or her. I don't know who it was. Um, I think they just had um, a cold. Which, honestly, if you are going to go on a plane, it's better to let your flight attendants know, hey, you're not feeling good, because it really prevents a whole ramp issue. Because coronavirus, flu, whatever, it's very, very, very dangerous. So if you aren't feeling good and you aren't on a plane, I definitely recommend that. My mom told me that. I highly agree. Everybody was like thanking her on the plane for being so responsible. It is a responsible thing to do. So. FYI, if you do feel a little sick, let someone know. I'm coming from Los Angeles, so I'm at baggage claim number two, so I should go find number two. Of course, it's in for a moment. Ooh, I should exchange some money. Oh, that's a lot of effort. I, I probably should, though. All right, let's exchange some money, guys. exchange some money I am sweating like crazy because it's hot in summer in Australia and I'm wearing a hoodie because when I left Orlando it was 49 degrees in Australia it's I mean it's like 62 so it's not too bad but it's hot you know so let's go get hot luggage I'm gonna go over there bro. Uh, I'm gonna look at this luggage damn I really don't want to Excuse me, pardon me. I feel like I missed my luggage. Ah, yes. So I'm waiting for my luggage. Um, remember how I told you it's gonna be a gamble if I get my luggage or not because I was on two different flights that had nothing to do with each other? This is where I find out if the gamble is here or not. I really hope my luggage is here because I don't feel like dealing with having to look for it. But hopefully it's here, guys. Ooh, the Melbourne Museum is close. We are at the exhibition center. Here's a sunny. It's 
brain. Yep. Like the money in my pocket. <laughs> Hello, I'm recording this from my house. We went to the Queen Victoria um, Market and I met this really cool guy who was making some really cool corn and I just really like this guy. So I'm going to show you what the day was today. This is huge! Oh, ah. <laughs> so we're at, what is this place called again? Victoria? Uh, Queen Victoria Market. Queen Victoria Market is where we're at. We're at the meat park, meat market part of it right now. It's chilly. I mean, the meat's gotta be cold though. Whoa! I didn't do it this time. There's so much meat, guys. That's a lot of meat. I feel like it's so easy to eat healthy here because they have a market for it. And it's affordable and cheap. Whereas in America, you have to take away your liver just to eat healthy. Whereas in America, you basically have to sell your liver just to eat healthy. Here, it's super affordable. My...
Hi guys, so I read about this really cool croissant place called Loon and they make like fresh croissants and they have like a factory and apparently the main one was actually near Sully sauce so I was like, hey, can we go, can we go, can we go, can we go, please? Obviously he's like yes because he loves it. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to show you all the pictures. I really hope you guys can taste the deliciousness through the screen because it looks amazing. So this is like the recording of the croissants that they had and it looked so delicious, which is really cool. They had like a Vegemite one too, which I was like, wow, you made a Vegemite croissant? That's pretty dope. But this was Loon. So Sol made the best, best pasta ever and then we went out for gelato that same day. And let me tell you how good the gelato was and Sully's bee pasta. Oof, I love it. I la 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 love it. Really? That's cool. And a pizza place across the street from each other. So what I think recording right there is like this little, I guess, alley or like a path or something of like hidden gems. So I obviously had to stop for coffee because coffee in Australia is probably the best I've ever had in the entire world. Then we walked through like the streets and I had to hit up my sushi hub because let me tell you how good the sushi is over there. And I was obsessed with it. Let me tell you. Hello. So, you know the coronavirus is saying how nowhere in Australia has toilet paper? That's a real thing. There's still Kleenex though. But there's actually no toilet paper. That's all they. Now we're just grocery shopping for the loops. Oh, socks. I gotta buy me some socks, y'all. But yes. This is what we're doing for right now. It's my birthday! It is March 8th of 2020. 2020? Yeah, I'll see here. <laughs> so, Sully and I went down to Great Ocean Road and the Total Apostles. This has been something that's on, that's been on my personal bucket list forever. We didn't have the chance to go last time I was in Australia, but we went this time, and I think we probably had the best time. I did get a little car sick because the bus that we took was, like, very, like, I guess the path was very shaky, and, like, I was getting very nauseous, but it was nonetheless probably one of the best days of my life. We saw a beautiful ocean, we saw beautiful, like, architecture and stuff, and I got to spend my birthday with the person that I love so obviously it was probably one of the best days ever I am sad that I didn't get to spend it with my parents because I normally do spend my birthday with my parents but I think Solly really reminded me how great it is to just you know enjoy the birth your birthday with who you love um we also went through this for rainforest that the picture you just saw and like it was beautiful we got lost I was like super scared, but it was nonetheless beautiful. And this is the 12 Apostles. This has been on my bucket list forever. And I'm really excited that I got to see it. Um, I got a little angry with Ollie because he didn't take like good pictures. I'm like, I look ugly, like take better pictures. But nonetheless, we had a good time. We made amazing memories and we got to explore something that we both have never seen. And 
I'm just really, really, really lucky I got to go here. It was probably one of the most spectacular views I've ever seen in my life. And we got to end my birthday on a beautiful, beautiful sunset in the balcony of his apartment. It was just the best day ever. Trying to remember the nugs. That's solid. Don't the nugs. So we got to hang out with Sean this this day. Um, we went to go get some crepes. We hung out at this cool mall. And I love seeing Sean every time I go to Australia, even though it's my second time. But it's just really exciting that, like, the friendships that we've made on Twitch and how we can, like, actually, like, meet them in person. It's super cool. So this lady right here, um, she had this table set up with her typewriter and she said she will write a poem for you all you have to do is give her a topic of my choice so i told her to write about happiness and immediately i thought of miley's twerk team because of the beautiful soul that these people have just trying to be creative to make a little extra cash um in the next slide you're gonna see the poem that she wrote and it's absolutely beautiful i think this is probably such a cute way to make extra cash and she was amazing Hey guys, <laughs> where be train number nine? Where be? <laughs> you are really weird. Like that's what. Really so after we dropped Shona. Sully and I were thinking, we were like, ooh, we should do the Eureka Tower. And since it was right next to Flinders Station, we were like, ooh, let's go. So we went there, and let me tell you, it's probably the best view I've ever seen of Melbourne. Um, That's so cool. Granted, I've seen an amazing view in New York as well, in the One World Trade Center. But this view was incredible. It was the eighth floor view. Um, so we got to see like pretty much all of Melbourne and everything and it was just really cool to see it all like from up top and the experience and everything. My ears are popping so much. Like the sounds of my ear popping. Wow! After the Eureka Tower, we decided to go to the Docklands, which I call the marina, but apparently it's called the Docklands. I don't know. So that first video, it was like a rowing team, which was really cool because I've never seen that. And then we went there just to enjoy the sunset, enjoy the night. We went to this really cool restaurant. We were really like looking for food and we couldn't find anything, but then we found this restaurant and the food was actually so good. Let me tell you how good the food in Australia is, guys. Like, you don't understand. It's so much better there. And then we enjoyed a nice little night walk where I got to, like, pretty much geek out and take really cool photos. Because Sully knows how much I love taking photos and stuff. Um, and we got to enjoy the night and stroll and just talk and... You know, end the day in a very good note. We got to do so many cool things. And then we ended the night with, of course, some delicious gelato, which was so good, by the way, guys. 
Uh, it's my last day in Melbourne in this video. And uh, Sully and I had lunch with his mom. And we were celebrating our birthdays. Because my birthday had just passed and her birthday was coming up. And we had these delicious cakes, which was so good. And then we went to the Victoria Market that we went to in the beginning of the video. But this is the night market version. They had it during the summer because in Australia, they're in the Southern Hemisphere. And they are considered in the summertime. And we got to explore and try delicious foods and stuff, which I'm going to show you. And it was just probably the coolest experience ever. It's like, it was so cool to have that on my last day in Melbourne.
and the leg of the trip. I am not okay. <laughs> uh, I am gonna miss all of you so much in the show. It's been a wonderful experience. <sighs> but anyway, we must go back into this wonderful US of A. Um, here we go. I have to go to gate 16. I was kind of gonna buy like food. I got like snacks and stuff because it's a 15 hour flight. Like my snacks are right there. But I don't know if I should buy actual food yet. I'll wait till they're up in the air to eat that food. I don't know. I'll see what I have around here. But yes. I'm make it and I will see you guys in LA. The last time. Because, okay, every time I go through like Australia's International Airport in Melbourne, oh my gosh, they have pandas! Look at all these cute pandas! I always think about them every time I go through because they're like the cutest thing in the entire world. That was so cute! So I don't get out the pandas. And the cute baby. But the pandas. Oh, hi, panda. Yes. Walking to gate 16. We're almost there. Oh, this looks like a very patriotic panda right there. Oh, that's a beautiful panda. Hi, buddy. A very typical Chinese colored panda over here. But yes, this is probably like one of my favorite walk pathways to walk through. In the airport. <sighs> I'm just sad. I hate leaving this beautiful country. But on to the adventures in the USA. Um, it may or may not. So, okay, as of right now, I'm perfectly okay. The coronavirus, I'm sick, okay. But, um, because I work at Disney. I think what I'm going to do is get tested just in case, just because I want to go to work and say, hey, I'm like perfectly fine, I got cleared, I'm tested and everything, just because they know I traveled overseas and cases are coming up and up all the time, so we shall see. But here's gate, wonderful 16, we are here, ready to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I bought snacks from the other one because this one's closed. But yes. Okay, number 16. It's right over here. The gate's opening soon, so I'll see you guys in LA. Goodbye!